Countries and businesses used world's fairs as platforms to debut new innovations and technologies throughout the 19th century. While many of these innovations were never widely adopted, others are still in use today. Here are five examples of commonplace inventions that have improved our quality of life. The dishwashing machines. The first dishwashing machine was originally displayed to the public at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, drawing large audiences who were interested in a device that could fully wash and dry 240 dishes in just two minutes. When it took so long to clean up after dinner parties in 1883, Ohio businesswoman Josephine Garris Cochran reportedly said, if nobody else is going to design a dishwashing machine, I'll do it myself. So, Cochran secured a patent for her dishwashing machine at the end of 1886. Her brevet also included a system for cleaning flatware. Even though her idea won over many admirers, potential backers made it clear that they would only join her team if Cochran ceded leadership of the Garris Cochran Company to men. Cochran was unwilling to do this. So she waited until the 1893 Chicago World's Fair to have the chance to present her dishwasher to the appropriate audience. Following that, requests for her product from restaurants, hotels, hospitals, and colleges started pouring in, and Cochran eventually founded her own factory in 1898. The Television Television was created during the course of the first half of the 20th century, but it didn't go on public display until April 20, 1939 at the New York World's Fair. On that day, the Radio Corporation of America Building Dedication Ceremony at the Queens County Fairgrounds was broadcast 12 kilometers away at the business's headquarters in Manhattan. The fair opened to the public 10 days later and RCA began selling television sets the next day. Another significant date in television history was May 1, 1939, when the RCA-owned national broadcasting company debuted a regular television broadcast schedule. Fairgoers had the option of participating in what was billed as America's first television tour, where they could learn about the development of the medium as well as the engineering and science behind its broadcast. But despite the excitement around the new technology, it took some time before middle-class American families could afford television sets. Fewer than a thousand homes in the nation had TVs before 1947. However, in just five years, television's popularity in the U.S. skyrocketed, reaching 12 million homes in 1952 and reaching half of all American households by 1955. Touch screens. Although touchscreen research began in the 1940s and they initially acquired popularity in the 1970s, only in 1982 World's Fair was the general public made aware of this cutting-edge technology and given the opportunity to experiment with it. There, a touch tablet was presented by Nimish Mehta which was utilizing frosted glass and a camera that could detect dark areas and shadows on the screen. Later, Myron Kruger, an American computer artist, used this gestural connection to create an optical device that could track hand movements. It was formerly known as Video Place until changing its name to Video Desk in 1983. This system tracked hands, fingers, and the people they belonged to using projectors and video cameras. It was unaware of who or what was touching it, in contrast to real multi-touch technology. When Bell Labs' Bob Boy used a capacitive array over a CRT to produce a new transparent touch overlay in 1983, it was a significant advancement. The capacitive technology used in tablets and smartphones today is a result of this development. Electrical Plug and Socket The transfer of electricity from the power source to a specific device was one of the main problems that emerged in the early days of electricity. By the 1880s, entire homes were electrically wired, but because electrical appliances had to be directly linked to the home's main power supply, family members were seriously put in danger. 
That changed in 1904 when Harvey Hubble, who had already created the pull chain electrical light socket, received the first American patent for a detachable electric plug. Hubble's design, which consists of two round pins with annular detents at the points, was intended to securely hold a plug in its socket, preventing hazardous electrical short circuits and the ensuing shocks. When Hubble initially showed his creation at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904, his plug and socket revolutionized how people used electricity. Zippers Today, it's simple to take the zipper for granted, but before it, getting dressed and staying that way required fastening clothing with ropes, ties, buttons, or other devices. Elias Howe, who also created the contemporary lock-stitched sewing machine and earned a gold medal in 1867 at Paris World's Fair for it, filed for a patent on the automatic continuous clothing closing in 1851. However, Howe never advertised his zipper, and it never became popular. After receiving a patent for his clasp locker shoe fastener in 1893, inventor Whitcomb L. Judson teamed up with industrialist Colonel Lewis Walker to form the Universal Fastener Company and begin producing his product. The clasp locker made its debut at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, and B.F. Goodrich called it the zipper when the business started using fasteners on its rubber boots in 1923. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like.